basically found Islam years after I was in the military. So I had already joined the military. I joined the military in 2009. Now I have been deployed twice to Afghanistan. So I had already met Muslims at that time that were from Afghanistan. Um, very nice people. It kind of really cha changed my perspective on what Islam and Muslims really were. Muslims aren't who the media, um, the news, Hollywood portrayed Muslims to be. They're just absolutely normal people like us. Um, mind you, at that time, I wasn't interested, but it wasn't until 2015. But I have a brother in the military that I knew he was Muslim, but all I knew about him was that he didn't eat pork. Like that's literally the extent of my Islamic knowledge when it came to Islam, right? But during 2015, when when the elections uh, started happening, I don't know if you recall, there was a lot of negative talk about Islam and Muslims, and it was just like really bad. People were getting bold, very bold online. Um, and I'm the type of person that likes to stand up for people, like all kinds of people, if you're being oppressed by society. Um, so when the elections happened and I started seeing like a lot of people talking about, about Muslims, I was like, Nobody's going to talk bad about my brother's religion. So uh, I started researching, researching Islam because I wanted to combat the trolls online, but with facts, you know, I didn't, I didn't want to come in with emotion. So I started looking into the Quran. I started reading um, and then eventually we were in Nebraska at the time and then eventually I found an open house at a mosque and I went, but I still had a lot of questions and I had really stupid questions at that. <laughs> and they gave their presentation. Everybody was really nice. And at the end they were like, okay, you know, questions, right? Q and A. And so right away I raised my hand and I'm like, so how come women aren't allowed to have the same inheritance as men? and how come you guys are linked with terrorism um i mean all kinds of questions i mean i was going at them because i just i don't know I, I felt like i needed the answers and alhamdulillah i was very pleased with everything that i heard and at the end of, of the of all my questions because i feel like i was the only one asking questions but at the end i asked the the person who was giving the presentation i was like so why don't we well, why don't you guys eat pork and he said well just because you know that's what god said and I was raised in the Catholic Church. It's like I wasn't your typical Mexican girl who their mom or their grandmother forced them to go to church. But when I grew up and I started asking questions, the answer that I would always get was just have faith. Oh, just because. It's just because God said so. So that really kind of started pushing me away from the Catholic Church. Um, so back to the story is when, when, they, when they told me, oh, just because, it kind of like brought me back to the whole like Catholicism and it's like, okay, well, I guess this is maybe how they are as well. So I left content, you know, once everything was done, I said to myself, okay, well, you know what? I think I have enough ammo <laughs> to combat the trolls. Right. Um, but before I left, one of the sisters, she, she reached, she reached out to me. She's like, Hey, she's like, are you the sister that asked about why we don't eat pork? And I said, yes, it was me. And so she explained it in detail to me as to why we don't eat pork. And I took that as a sign, as silly as that may be, because I think that, like I said, God really knew what my struggles were in the Catholic Church. I was like, OK, everything makes sense. Like literally everything that I know as of now and a brother comes close and he's like, you know, so what are you waiting for? Like, what is holding you back from being Muslim? And I looked at him and I'm like, nothing. And he's like, so do you want to take your Shahada right now? And I was like, yeah, I do. And so I literally took my Shahada that same day.